Hello, ladies and gentlemen. I'm this. In today's video, we're going to be opening booster box number five of Pokemon Sword and Shield. Brilliant stars. So, without further ado, let's get it. All right, guys. The time has come. The time has come. The booster box number five. I mean, technically, this would be booster box number eight. But I did do three booster boxes in one video, which was 100 packs, which is on the channel, guys. Oh, link in the description down below. So, as we get into our first pack, there's not much that I need left, guys, for the master set, which I'm hoping at least I can pull one at least one card for the master set. I believe I need like 20 cards left. I'll throw up an image of my Poké Collect page of how much I actually need left and how much I need. Wow. First pack magic guys, first pack magic. Secret Rare Gold Ultra Ball which is really badly off centered and crooked. Hopefully you can see it. That is really bad. What in the hell? Okay, first pack magic guys, first pack magic ultra ball secret rare, nice nice nice, had to do a quick clean of the play map because of the bloody booster box um, seal dust, but yeah guys, bloody hell, first pack magic and we get gold secret rare ultra ball, ah that, see, for my binder that could have been Arceus V star which is the only Old card I need left, which again that just ruined my chances of getting, so definitely not getting that from this box today. Is this going to be a full art box or is it going to be a V star box? If it's a V star box, then it's going to be dis disappointing because I've already got all the V stars, so there's nothing I can pull. Inferno, and we have a Zenta V. Literally, all I need left are full arts. A few of them. Charizard being the main one. I want that Charizard full art, which I highly doubt I'm gonna pull. Um, the alternate arts, obviously, a couple of them. I think I need maybe a couple. Um, Rainbows and then the trainer gallery cards. So not that much left that I need to pull. But probably the hardest pulls that you can pull left from this set. And being that I can get doubles, it makes it even that much harder. V Star, Vival, Fracture, Cafe Master, Impedim, Star You, Yolu, Starly. No, sorry. Tropius and a Hollow Moltres. After this booster box, I have the one more booster box, which I'm planning just so I can get some content out until I guess the release of up and coming collection boxes and stuff like that coming out between now and Astral Radiant. I don't think I'll have that much in terms of obviously I'm with some of the stuff that are coming out between now and then I'll have videos for but with me uploading Monday, Thursdays and Sundays three videos a week I don't think there's gonna be enough between now and then with the downtime so what I was planning to do with my last booster box is like a pack a day sort of series thing where I do a quick maybe one minute video or something of opening one pack a day it wouldn't technically it's not going to be one pack a day but it'll be called a pack a day but I'll obviously upload it Monday, Thursday and Sundays and then anything in between like 
I've already got this one, I think. I believe I do have this one. I think I bought this one three times even. And I need to. Good hit, good hit. And I think I remember in one of my videos I said a theory where you're guaranteed like a V trainer gallery. I guess there's my V trainer gallery. Probably not gonna get one that I need now. Because I only need I think a few of the V trainer galleries left. And then high five. The V Max versions. Which are tough to pull because I pulled multiple doubles of a couple of them and aluminium V. Double banger right there. Double banger. Well not from one pack but Yeah, what was I saying? Um, I think the pack a day thing. Yeah, in between all of this, like downtime where I don't have nothing to open, like anything, to, any products to open, I'll upload like a pack, I guess, just to fill in that day that I don't have anything to upload, anything that releases. So yeah. And then when obviously when Astral Radiance comes around I'm not gonna go in as heavy as I did with Brilliant Stars but I will open quite a bit of it, at least one of each product anyway, at least one of each product so that will have that content when that time comes around and then following from there anything else that releases so on so on so on so from now on I guess what I should do is save a booster box for each set that comes out just so I can fill it in when I don't have anything to open so I don't leave you guys like for however long it takes for me to get product to open flag on V I'm not having anything to watch for depending on how long it is maybe a week maybe a couple of days you know unless you guys don't mind waiting for me to open a product when I do get it ETC, ETC. But yeah, that's the plan guys, that's the plan. Just so I can keep the content going. And even then, I think you guys would enjoy a quick one minute video of me possibly, possibly pulling like a big hit from this set. But well, yeah guys, it's almost time for Brilliant Stars to come to an end with these last two remaining booster boxes and then I'm just going to buy singles for the rest that I need show you the master set be a proud owner of the master set and then move on to Astral Radiance I guess but then as well in July Pokemon Go Pokemon Go set is coming out. Oh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how that set is gonna be. I don't know how many cards is gonna be in it, but with that one, I might save from Astral Radiance. Yes, we have, guys. Finally, a new card for the binder. Perfect. Right through V full up. Nice, nice sir. Alright, so this could possibly be a full art booster box that I need. Will I get more than one full art? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. And this will be able to test my theory as well that once you get one full art, you get at least two at least two so let's see Gino, Beltoy, Snow Run, Nursery Need to Reverse Laps. I'm happy with that ratchet pool guys I'm very happy with that ratchet pool one added to the binder 
Will I pull anything else? Will I pull anything else? For the binder? Hopefully, hopefully, hopefully. Beef fracture, cafe monster, goodbye. So run. Was I talking about anything just then? Pokemon Go, Pokemon Go. Yeah. That's not hollow. I'm wondering what cards would be in that set. Because there's so many. Pokemon Go, I think technically it has the whole Pokemon Pokedex, right? Up to Gen 8. So, high five. How many cards are they going to add in that set? Or what cards are they going to add? That are special, I guess. That are going to be high. Yeah. Oh, undo. Nice, my third one. Oh, wait. Hip hop, life boy. Oh, man, it's not that great. This will not make for a good grade. No. No. I really want to grade this card, guys. But. This, this one isn't going to cut it. So that beam can go there. Because I don't, if you haven't seen it already guys, link in the description down below, there will be a video from the Leafeon and um, Place on these style boxes that I opened. So just bang the mic. I was talking about my first grading submission that I'm gonna do. The ace grading. Yeah, it'll be my first ever ace grading submission. And I'm gonna try to get a couple of cards, a few cards that I can grade with ace. It's my first submission. And that hound doom, I want that hound doom to be in it by Braver. Like it be. I've even looked at eBay for to buy it so I can grade it. But every card that I see is either off centered, corners cut bad, or it has um like and if you can see I don't th these the energies on this in this booster box look if I was to grade this we'd probably get OC grade. Um, it doesn't show, but it's only on the trainer cards. On the edges, it comes with like, um, blunt, like it's been cut blunt, so it, sh it leaves like a little fluff on it, if that's what you want to call it. Like the edges. I don't know if they've got the grade for that. And if they do, then obviously there's no point grading that card. Came on top, magma basin, hold on, go to the trap pinch, can't do, so just bang them back again, shroomish, purloin, etene, light board. I mean, all in all, this booster box so far isn't too bad. Four of these, full art, the secret red gold, um, two trainer galleries, one being a V, high five, not sure, a fame monster. Yeah, I think should have a couple of decent hits left at this. I believe. Jameko Zeprom, there's our next trainer. And then two. So that's three trainer galleries now. Guess I'm due maybe one more ultra rare. I mean I think they're all ultra rares, right? These are kind of as ultra rares. Oh I'm, I guess I won't say I'm guaranteed, but I should be getting at least another maybe full art or visa. Possibly a rainbow, if I'm lucky, and hopefully a rainbow that I don't have. Sneasel, Bidoof, Electabuzz, Chameco, Gibble, Sork, Muck. What do you guys think of the new Pokemon Go set that's going to be coming, guys? Or even Astro Radiance, anything. Astro Radiance, Pokemon Go set. How do you feel about them? Do you think they're going to be good? I mean, Astro Radiance, I have actually spoiled myself. I want to because obviously I need to to see if there's anything worth chasing for the monster set. And it looks good. 
I like it, it looks good, so I think I may go for the Astro Radiance Master Set Not as heavily and not as fast as Brilliant Stars, but I'm gonna go for the Master Set I, I, To be honest, I think with this Sword and Shield V-Star As we speak of a V-Star, Arc is V-Star, yes, this With the value that it has Has made us, I would say, a third of money back from the booster box itself very nice or I could even grade it because it looks decently it looks nicely centered definitely looks nicely centered ooh I think I might grade this no it's not I think it's bottom heavy and left heavy might get, still might get a 10, still might get a 10 So I might even put this one in for grading submission guys I might put it in for grading submission Alright, so Arc is V-Star Ooh, is that gonna be the next only best hit that I get now? Damn Damn, damn, damn And if the Pokemon goes it as well as anything, if, any, if there's anything like um, celebrations, boy, what is it called? V. So that's five, five V's. I'd say that's an average now. Shouldn't be any more V's. Possibly one more V star, possibly one more full up. And one more trainer gallery. We'll see, we'll see. Yeah, if it's anything like celebrations for you, that's gonna be a lot of money to be spending as well. For just 50 cards. But I don't think they're gonna make it 50 cards. It's probably gonna be a little bit more than that. Stormy, let's go over there. Astral Radiance, already I've spoiled it. I've seen the Machamp. Oh, that Machamp. In that set looks good. There's a, a V, a V Max, a full up, and uh, there we go. There's our next trainer gallery and a king of V Max. Oh, sh shoot. Shoot, shoot. All right, so this one is gonna be a bit disappointing, I believe. Max and Arcus V star. I don't think I'm gonna be getting anything else on a secret rare. Yeah, maybe one more training gallery. But apart from that, I think all the rest of the packs are gonna be duds, guys. I think the rest are gonna be duds. Only one full up. Damn. Dene, Pop Chu, Execute, Manaphy. Yeah, Serena is that my champ. Ooh, the old art looks nice. The old art. And then there's I haven't seen anything else. I think my champs the only oh are they revealed so far. Oh that Dialga. Oh oh Oof. Charizard V, nice. Definitely can't read that one. That one's off center from the left. Very badly. Six V's, wow. Is that average or is that more than average? I would say that's more than average. Normally you get like five. Man, I mean this box actually isn't that bad to be honest. The hit, hit wise, quantity wise, even hit, like quality wise, not too bad. I would say I made quite a bit of my money back. Oh yes, I see something at the back here. It's a flossing no! no, what's this all this? I have this one as well. There's a double up there. Damn it! I mean, I'll take it, it's a full art. Technically a full art. But it's one that I have. 
So single strike, so I must. Oh, that could have been something else. Why couldn't that have been. Ace Roller? Ace Roller from Munition would have been nice in that full out training gallery there. Oh. Okay, so there's our. I guess secret rare, secret rare version of our training gallery kit. Oh, wait. Are you guaranteed? A V and a full out then. Of the training gallery cards. I know for a fact in in every booster box that I've opened, I've pulled a V variant of the training galleries, definitely. But the full up ones or the V Max slash full out trainer ones. I'm not too sure. I'm not too sure. Alright guys, two packs left, two packs left. I think that's it, but at least I am going away with a right through full art that I can add to the binder. Like the boss, Lucho, Ding Clang, Ding Clang. Last pack magic, guys. Last pack magic. Will we get last pack magic? Come on, give me something. I don't think there is going to be anything though. Zekito, Frenzy Gala, Magma, Bedem, Staryu, Rolu, Starly, Ruby, and a Muffin. And that's it guys, so time for a quick recap. So including the hollows guys, we've got 23 hits at this booster box. If you count the hollows anyway as hits, we've got 23 hits. 7 hollows, 22 hits, 22 hits, 7 hollows and 15 ultra rares. So we've got a Charizard V, Whimsicott V, Raikou V, Flygon V, Zamazenta V, Luminium V. That's 6 Vs, which I believe is a little bit above average. A Kingler V Max, Flareon Trainer Gallery, Zekron Trainer Gallery, Helm Doom, Rapid Strike Usher V V. Single strike style mustard full art. That is five V's. Tra five trainer gallery, sorry. Right through full art, which I need for the binder. Perfect. So at least this booster box gave me something for the binder. Which I'm happy about. Arcus V star, which at this point right now on the market pays for at least a third of the box. At least. And then a secret rare gold ultra boom, which is badly off centered. And on that note guys, if you enjoyed the video, if you stuck with me to the end, I'd appreciate if you could leave a like, subscribe, turn notifications on, and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.